Hello everyone, this is Professor Capco and I welcome you to the next video in my series. This one is a much requested video uh, regarding calculating a percent off a price. Oftentimes you will be presented with a problem in one of your classes or in real life about how to calculate the percentage off and what the final sale price will be. Also in this, I'm going to show you two ways to calculate how much you're going to save and what the sale price is. And then I'm going to do show you the reverse as well, that if you've got a certain sale price, um, what is the percentage off? So we're going to figure out both ways. All right. So in this first one is an item with a regular price of $200 is on sale for $25 off. How much will you save and what is the sale price? So we're going to start with the $200 original price. And we've got 25% off. And remember, when you've got a percentage to work with it, we're going to need to turn it into a decimal. And the way you do it by, you do it by dividing by 100. Right, you're going to divide by 100, which in effect moves the decimal place over 2. So we're going to put it 0 0.025. That is how we are going to work with a decimal point, uh, which will work better with our calculator. Okay, so if we have $200 and we want to take 25% off, I need to find out how much 25% of $200 is. So I'm going to take the $200, I'm going to multiply it by 0 0.25, which is our 25% off. So if you put that in your calculator, 200, 200 times 0.25, and that gives us $50. So it is $50 off. And if you want to find out the sale price, you would just take the original price, $200, and we're taking $50 off. So our sale price is $150. That is one way to do that. I'm going to show you an, a, another way to do it. And that would be to say we're starting with our original $200 price. And I want to find out what is the sale price, but I don't want to go through this figuring out how much off and then subtracting. I want to do it in one step. Well, one way you could do it is you know 100% is this price, the $200, and we're going to take off 25%. So I take 100% and I subtract 25%. So if you take 100 and you take away 25, that leaves 75%. So the sale price is going to be 75% of the original price. So if I take 75%, of course, divide by 100 or move the decimal place over two spots, that leaves me with 0 0.75. So I want to find out what the sale price is, which is 75% of the $200. I just take 200 and I multiply it by 0 0.75. So let's clear our calculator and do it again. 200 times 0.75. And that gives me, again, $150, which we already knew was the sale price. If you're getting a lot out of this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the like button below. You can also um, put a um, reminder on in the alerts anytime a new video comes out. So that is calculating it one direction. The next direction would be where you've got an item with a regular price of $350 and it's sold for a sale price of $280 and you want to know what is the percentage off the regular price. So we're working in reverse now. So we start with our $350 regular price. We know that it is sold for 
$280. So I'm going to subtract from that the, the sale price. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to find out how much off the regular price it is. In other words, here's the regular price, here's the sale price. What is the difference? What is the difference between them? In other words, how much is it on sale for? So the difference, anytime you have a difference, that means subtraction. So we'll put that in our calculator, 350 minus 280, and that gives us $70. So it is $70 off the regular price. But that is not what the question is asking. The question wants to know the percentage off the regular price. All we have is the dollar amount off the regular price. Be careful because sometimes, especially on a test that is multiple choice, sometimes one of the answers will be 70. And students will do this calculation, get the 70, and they'll choose it because they think they're done. And it happens to be one of the answers that must be right. But they can be tricky. We want to know the percentage off. So this is a dollar amount. This is not a percentage. So the way we do that is we're going to take the percentage off. I mean, we're going to take the dollar amount off, which is $70. And we're going to divide it by the regular full price. $70 divided by the full price. So the amount off, and we're going to divide it by the full price. And that's going to give us the percent off. So we'll put that into our calculator. We have $70. And we're going to divide it by $350. And we're going to expect an answer that's less than 1. All right. So my calculator is set to give us fractions. But if I don't want a fraction, I just push, push this button to get a decimal. So on this particular calculator, I can go back and forth between fractions and decimals. That's one reason why I like this calculator. So if I do that, it gives me 0 0.2. Now that's a decimal. We want to figure out the percentage. So to find the percentage, from a decimal, we do the opposite of what we did before. Before, we divided by 100 to turn a, a percentage into a decimal. In this case, we want to turn a decimal into a percentage, so we multiply by 100, which, in effect, moves the decimal place over two places, so that is 20%. 20% is our answer. So if it is being sold, a $350 item is being sold for $280, that represents a 20% savings. And you could double check your work. One way you do to do that is work in reverse. And you could just say, if I have $350 item, and we do like we did above here, and if we have 80, if we have, excuse me, 100% and we minus 20%, that leaves 80%. So if we want to know what 80% of the price of 350 is, and we move the decimal place over two, so 350 times 0 0.08, and what is that going to give us? 350 with the original price times 0 0.8 is 280. That's the sale price. So this is our check to make sure it's correct. And in this case, it is. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put them down in the comments below. If you have a particular problem you want me to solve, put that in the comments below as well. As I said, keep your grade alive and, and survive by subscribing and click the like button. Until next time, this is Professor Capco. Thank you.